needs to. Yeah. All right, there we go. There we go. Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Varun Badwar. I'm the VP of Product Marketing at CypherCloud. I'm oh, taking off on its own. Uh, unfortunately, Praveen couldn't make it due to an emergency, but I'm here to talk about our cloud data protection software and how we're exponentially expanding cloud adoption in the enterprise. Well, I think everybody knows the business users love the cloud. All right, some things. All right. Uh, business users love the cloud. It's all about the flexibility, the scalability, and cost savings. At the same time, uh, it's a CIO's nightmare, truly, to, to move that data into the cloud. And if you just think about what's happened over the last month, the Epsilon data breach, millions of records compromised. Uh, the Sony breach, 70 million records compromised. Uh, so I think everybody has legitimate concerns about uh, the data and, uh, and data that moving to the cloud due to privacy, regulatory, and uh, data residency concerns. Uh, I think it's no new news here. Everybody understands that security, privacy, and regulatory compliance are the biggest impediments to cloud computing. And that's where we really come in and fit well in the enterprise. We provide an inline security gateway that helps you encrypt data in real time before it goes out into the cloud. And we do it in a way where the data, is, it's completely transparent to the end user that there's any encryption whatsoever. So they get to use the application the way they expect to with full functionality in the cloud being available. Uh, the biggest factor here is that the encryption keys remain with the customer at all times. Just in the last two months that we've been in business, we've received tremendous interest from enterprise customers. Uh, to talk about a few use cases here, uh, the Democratic Party of Canada is storing 25 million voter records in the cloud, and they wouldn't have been able to do so without uh, using a solution like CypherCloud. Similarly, there's an investment bank uh, that wanted to store M&A data in the cloud, and again, that would not have been possible due to the sensitivity of the data uh, to be put in the cloud unless they encrypted that data with full control. Partners remain to be a key go-to-market strategy for us, and companies like Salesforce.com are a no-brainer. You know, we're, we have strategic partnerships with them, and the reason is we're helping them close more deals, penetrate into net new markets. Uh, other than that, another interesting trend is ISVs that are building custom applications on platforms as a service are bundling our applications and our solutions with their offerings and going to market into the enterprise. We have an extensible platform, and what we mean by that is our core gateway provides you encryption, tokenization, key management, and other security controls. And on top of that, CypherCloud out of the box provides you uh, integrations for some large, uh, large cloud applications like Salesforce.com. But our, our vision is to be much more than that. We want to provide an ecosystem where companies and third parties can plug in their cloud applications and provide that to customers as well. I think what, what everybody understands here, what we're trying to do is address key privacy and security challenges. And by doing so, we're helping customers that were previously never able to even think about moving their data to the cloud to now move those data, that data and the applications into the cloud. In terms of uh, our business model, uh, we have a subscription-based pricing model that aligns well with the cloud strategy. And we charge anywhere between $10 to $20 per user per month uh, and it differs based on volume. Our, our partner strategy is slightly different. We have a revenue sharing model there, which is anywhere between 5 to 15% of the cloud application uh, costs uh, and the revenue that the cloud partner gains. Our target market essentially is any enterprise that wants to move data into the cloud. And uh, you know, obviously top of mind, as we mentioned earlier, was financial services, healthcare providers, uh, you know, some of who are sitting here, and also the government is a huge component of it. Um, I was just in Europe the other day, and there's a huge initiative around G Cloud, a government cloud. And there's 500 government organizations that are very concerned about moving data to the cloud. So this is where Cypher Cloud really fits in. Also from a partner strategy, uh, you know, companies, as I mentioned, companies like Salesforce love us because we're helping them penetrate into net new markets, new countries that have data residency requirements, uh, and also, Smaller ISVs that are building on, plat on platforms like Force.com, like Google and Amazon. And they're able to penetrate into enterprises where we, they could never even dream of going with their solutions before. Uh, 
it, needless to say, large implementation partners, companies like Deloitte, are, are key to our strategy because they're spending millions of dollars and investing a ton of money to move their strategy, their implementation strategy into the cloud. So if you talk to a lot of companies, uh, they'll tell you that you know, their implementation focus has gone from SAP into more of Salesforce and other cloud providers. So you know, we've done a lot of work, and obviously it's been appreciated uh, by, by a lot of analysts, media, and press. Just this week, earlier, Gartner uh, named us as a cool vendor. Uh, also, RSA had picked us as a finalist for the most innovative company of 2011. So there's a, there's a lot of traction, and what that's done is it helped us get tremendous interest from customers and prospects globally. Uh, we expect to be cash flow positive by, uh, before the end of this year. We also have a number of patents pending, as you'd imagine, on this relatively new technology in the space. I have a little. I know. <laughs> Sorry. I have... All right. He doesn't like. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to get there. One more time. All right. Finally, we believe we can do this and solve this problem uh, because of the proven uh, management team that we have. Combined, we have over 100 years of experience in security and cloud space. And most notably, our founder was also the co-founder of ArcSight that recently had a $1.5 billion exit with HP. Uh, so with that, I will um, leave it up to judges for questions. Great. Thank you. Good job.